Hello everyone, this is Chad Kaleher, field agronomist with Bex in East Central Illinois. Today I'm in a field in East Central McLean County, Illinois, just outside of Bloomington. Today is June 15th and I wanted to share some information that we're seeing in fields caused by dry weather. Today I'm in a field here that was planted May 10th. We've experienced quite a bit of dry weather in this particular geography, uh, which is uncommon for the area. But this year we are experiencing very dry conditions and this field we're in was strip tilled last fall with anhydrous ammonia in the strip. So one of the things we're noticing is plants like this that are floppy corn or rootless corn syndrome. So this plant is looking like it's laying over uh, significantly compared to many other plants. And as we walk through this field we can see many other plants that are like this. So you can see from that picture there's a, there's a plant there that's laying over and if we get closer up to it we can see there is a little bit of a slot there where the seed was placed that's because of dry conditions. Uh, we are on a Ipava silt loam soil with about four and a quarter percent organic matter so very good soil here doesn't usually tend to dry out a lot or usually don't have problems with this type of a scenario in these good dark black prairie soils this soil may look a little bit wet to you. Within the last 12 hours, we have received about three to four tenths inch of rain. So that's why we are looking a little bit uh, darker and a little bit damper today. But here's a plant that I want to show you that I pulled up that looked very similar to the one I just showed you before. The thing that we're noticing is the mesocotyl is very healthy on this plant. As you can see, the... Um, the white mesocotyl, the distance between the seed and the nodal roots that is pointed to with my knife. So right here, that's very healthy, still white and attached. But the thing that's causing the floppy corn syndrome or the rootless corn syndrome is due to the dry weather, we have very insignificant development of these nodal roots which are the primary root system on the corn plant that's going to dig deep and extract moisture and nutrients. The major root system is going to be these roots that come out around the, the nodes here, the, the nodal root system. So the floppy corn syndrome is caused by the dry weather since planting and also the lack of development of these nodal roots. So what can we do about this? Really the only thing that we can do is to hope for continued moisture. There's not really a whole lot of uh, practices that we can do on our own to help this scenario, but the only thing that can really help it is if we have continued rainfall. Cultivation will not really help uh, and may be a limitation in your uh, tillage practice or tillage system that you have. That doesn't really help the scenario much at all, but really continued moisture is the best thing to hopefully develop those nodal roots a little bit better. Um, and the one thing you want to look for is green tissue here at the tips of the nodal roots. And look and see if that's really healthy or if that's brown and desiccated. If it's brown and desiccated, there's not a lot of hope for those plants to continue development of those nodal roots. So once again, this is Chad Kaleher, field agronomist in East Central Illinois, looking at corn that has some plants with floppy corn syndrome or also known as rootless corn syndrome. Thank you.